Yo, what's up, guys? It's Welsh Randy RC here, bringing you another video into the Manage Mode Show Korea, and this is episode three. I just want to mention, guys, if a lot of you, if you've missed episodes or you've missed past season, you kind of want to check up. In the description, there are link to each uh, season, uh, season one, two, and three, and four, five, and also <laughs> including this one, and uh, they all see updated every time we. Um, upload a new episode so be sure to check them out if you were not up to date um, Newcastle started off really well but we counted that as well we started off uh, getting our shots away controlling the ball 19th minute now crossing in great save originally but parried it straight out to King there and King who just came back from Manchester United there uh, when we actually bought him again headers it down into the ground that's the main thing which you actually want to do when you actually come up with a header you all just head it down but we kept on accounting in the 27 minute just after we scored that goal we cross it in with King and look at the run what a save though I have to give from the Newcastle goalkeeper and then in the 27 minute we end up scoring again and um, well in 24th you have to say and it was like wow the that particular like five minute segment was absolutely nuts um, and that was it then for the first half and we really controlled the game from there on and we got heard on the ball now taking that CA and roll to a T uh, into Ben and Ben shoots and unfortunately does get deflected and it wasn't much from there then as I said we controlled the game we had the passing play going we had everything working for us but unfortunately for Newcastle they didn't get many chances forward and either do we really but we just controlled the game right don't worry guys, Solazano is not being sold. What I want to actually mention, there's a lot, a lot of interest for Solazano, I've noticed. Uh, it constantly popping up every time down to the transfer window. Solazano, I want to buy him, I want to buy him. And he wasn't even up for sale, which was really, was like, really? You want to buy a player which isn't up for sale, but you want to buy the players which are up for sale for me. Um, but Solazano, guys, seriously, you can just see the interest there. A little... Um, a player to buy, person you see him on the ball now, gets shot away unfortunately. A player to actually buy, Solazano starting off, any team. If you have the money to pay for him, buy him. He is an absolute tank, 73 rated in Season 5. Uh, I think he improved last year, 90%. But he is an absolute beast, and that's all I'm going to say. Sydney Sam on the ball now, shoots. And we did all constantly dominate this game once again. And we are in this mood at the moment where we can control games. Like, if, like, we always get on the driving street uh, straight away, if I'm totally honest. And it, unfortunately, it's nil nil. We didn't get a goal or nothing from that. Uh, very disappointing. But uh, Solzano now, McEachern, even I should say, does get a penalty. Solzano did put a through ball originally. And uh, we get very fortunate. But uh, Solzano slots it away, top left hand corner. Did think the keeper was originally going to save it because that's a bit wow. That was very, very close. Uh, especially with this moment, it's like, God, we need to score. So Zano again cuts on inside and whacks it into the bottom right hand corner. And So Zano is an absolute beast. I'm sorry, I gotta keep mentioning it. This, like, it's dedication to him uh, this particular episode because he is fighting for a first team uh, spot as well because Borjan will be coming back in the uh, couple of weeks time so is that he needs to get his goals improved that he's good enough for the first side and not just a little bench warmer which will come on at half time but we do end up winning that game 2-0 again same result as the previous game and um, we lucky enough we do beat Reading in the uh, league cup so pretty happy there because we did get knocked out pretty early stages last season in the league cup so to improve from there and whatnot it's a big achievement um next game is actually in the premier league we're back in there and we are playing stoke city um McKeck run um sorry Barnum and Borjan are still not back. I believe they do come back next game. It's about maybe five days left on the injury. But here, very poor defending. And what happened here with my defender? I actually decided to change it up a little bit. Where I usually play Ben Detti and uh, Obana, you may notice I decided to start Clark. And uh, it looks like that was a bit of a bad decision because we do end up conceding very early. But we do challenge back. Um, no one got the end of that. It was originally a shot though. But we kept uh, dominating there and we was pushing forward. And uh, try to pass it, cross it in. Now, mucked it up completely to Tosh. It now controls the ball, doesn't panic. Bender now pass it inside to King. And King gets the shot away. And a great save from the Stoke goalkeeper again. 24th minute now. Papa CC on the ball, puts a through ball to King. King on the ball. Bit of a mistake from the defender, but King 
does slot it home into that bottom left hand corner and what a goal that was lovely play for luck, luck was on our side day but i would take that any day of the week because we had a bit of poor defending at start 37th minute now king on the ball crosses it in and papis I love his runs, guys. Uh, the runs our strikers doing are awesome. But at halftime, we do make some changes. Uh, ben Detti for Clark and also Toshik for Roas. Well, vice versa for the, um, that formation uh, position even. But uh, Roas on the ball now squares it across the Klein. Klein out the Sydney Sam cuts on inside. And what an absolute belter. Like, we've seen him do it before. Slightly closer. And he does it again in the... 62 minute I do believe and what a goal that was unbelievable guys seriously buy him like that's another recommendation for you buy Sydney Sam 82 rated in season 4 I believe he matches out around 83 absolute beast and without doubt he's worth for money guys I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and I want to ask you if you listened this far where do you think I'm going to finish in the league uh, I'm challenging first but anyway guys I'd like to say thanks for watching we are currently second, and I'll see you guys uh, Wednesday. Bye-bye, guys.